to see a little bit of that when you come to Bopart. Um, at one time, the Celts and the Romans, who were not able to get along real well, uh, were living together in this community, or so some people feel. And, uh, and so it has that unique, uh, unique uh, aspect to it. Uh, the, uh, it also has, in all of Germany, the best preserved Roman wall. I don't know, Peter, if we're going to be driving by the Roman wall. Oh, shucks. All right. So we may not, uh, yeah, if we see it, Peter, maybe you can make note of it and tell us. One of the things also that I want to share with you is I hope that you'll be able to pick up a little dialect while you're here. And so uh, some of you I know understand the words and some of you maybe haven't heard them for a long time. Some of you maybe never knew them. But there's a word that, that um, when my grandfather had grapes and we raised grapes on the farm fence along our pasture, uh, we called them Trauben. Trauben. And Bopart is known for its Trauben festival, uh, as I understand it. And uh, and so I I don't believe that's probably going on right now, is it? Oh, it could be at this time, but don't ask me for the, the, the details. <laughs> so normally, uh, now it is time for Yeah, we're, yeah, we're going to Google it. <laughs> you Google everything nowadays. <laughs> the other thing you should know about, how many people here know Engelbert Humperdinck? Anybody ever heard of Engelbert Humperdinck? Engelbert Humperdinck owns a home in Bopart. I don't believe we're going to be driving by it. I'm not sure. Peter, do you know who Engelbert Humperdinck is? I know Engelbert Humperdinck. I'm old enough, but I don't know where he was going to be. Ah, Peter, good. That's twice now that you're... We're not going by the... Yeah, we're going to Google it. Yeah, we're Googling where Engelbert Humperdinck lives in Bopart. <clears throat> the uh, Bopart, the, the Rhine River was was uh, was originally called the uh, a place that was the the bathtub for the uh, for the giants that lived in the Hunswick Mountains, and uh, and so that's why you know that's just a story. It's one of the many fables that goes along with the Rhine cruise. And I, as we go through the Rhine cruise, I'll share stories of each of the villages and castles that are on your left and right hand side. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be access to a microphone. If not, you'll have to stand by me. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, and there is a book you can buy if you want to take the time to read it and, and what have you. Uh, but uh, at one time, the Rhine, of course, was an extremely clear body of water. Uh, last time I was on the Rhine, and, and the only other time I was on the Rhine, it was not a clear body of water so uh, but it, they claimed that you could see mermaids so those of you guys that are interested in seeing a mermaid you know look closely into the water and see if you can't spot